from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a haul video with you guys, but with try on. So I had done a bikini haul a little while ago. We were in Florida and I decided to do like a massive haul. So I literally have like 12 plus items to share with you guys and I'm just gonna like roll through them and none of them are expensive. They're actually like ridiculously cheap. Um, super quick, first I wanted to share with you guys because I often get asked this question like, do I tan a ton in the sun? I love the sun, but to do a video like this, obviously coming from Canada, I'm pale white, so I wanted to share like my little favorite tips with you guys. So I always travel with a Saint Tropez self tan. That's my favorite tanner of all time. It's like a mousse one. It helps if you have the mitt, but that's my favorite. This, I love sun bum. I love everything sun bum. Like I was talking about the sunscreen, a prior video I did like a full get ready with me and I was talking about how much I love their sunscreen. And I found this browning lotion and it smells like chocolate and I love it. So it is like a thick cream, but it works. And their stuff is all like gluten-free, paraben-free, vegan, cruelty, -free, like love. And it's everything they do smells good. So I love sun bum. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I know that sometimes it might look a certain way on camera, but I do get ready for stuff. And also just stick to the end if you guys want a good laugh. Like I know that I do bikini try-ons and sometimes people will be like, well, you're sucking it and you're flexing. Like, of course I am. I'm trying to like make a bathing suit look cute for everybody. And I just, you know, I don't always feel that great doing it, especially coming from the cold weather in Canada and coming to the tropical regions of Florida. So going, you know, back and forth and, and doing a try-on haul is not always easy, but there is a real side to it and I wanted to share that with you guys. So if you guys want to see the full try-on going through all these bathing suits, um, all of them range from, you know, crazy stuff like $12, $12 to like $25. So that's about the range that I'm going to go through with you guys. Um, all Everything I'm going to share is from zafool.com. If you've heard of that, it is legit. It's not like a weird scammy website. It's legit. And I ordered... 12 plus pieces from them. So if you guys want to see all of them, then just keep watching. So the first thing that I will tell you is that as soon as I got these bathing suits and I started unwrapping them, most of them did fit me. I was a medium across the board. So some of the items you can actually order a top and a bottom in different sizes. The ones that I chose, you couldn't in any of them. So I just made do with what I could. Um, I had done a prior video haul of a bunch of bikinis and I was a medium in that. So I figured this should work out if I'm medium. But what I did notice is that sometimes the sizing was like really small, it still fit, but it was tighter. Another thing I noticed is that none of the cups worked. So just honest review, the cups were kind of like, they have like those indentations, like they kind of just, you can see it, like the creases through the bathing suit. And I just thought, well, what if I just pull them all out? And it was, it was better without the cups. So I literally just pulled them all out. So if that ever happens to you when you buy, you know, really, not cheap bikinis, but like cheaper bikinis online, maybe pull out the cups because that could help. And especially if you're feeling like it's too small. So this one, I actually left the cups in. This was, isn't this gorgeous? So I love like high neck styles. And this was one of the ones that I ordered in a medium. I ordered everything you're gonna see is in a medium, top and bottom. But this was the one that I was like, whoo, this is a little bit small. Like this is the bottom. I'm sorry. I know that I, I'm not exactly blessed in the booty region, but like, it's really small, but it still fit. And it didn't like dig into the sides or anything. It was just tight. And that's one thing I will say, like it doesn't have that much give that I would almost feel like it could rip, but it looks super cute on, like you can see the little rainbow detail. And then this is like the high neck type of bikini. There's no tie up at the back, which sometimes I like more. It still looked great. I love the colors and I love how bright it is. So that was the first one. And that was my impression of that one. And a lot of the bikinis, I will say, um, are more scandalous. So they're cheeky, if not like a full thong. And I'm not like a prude or anything. I just don't own thong bathing suits, but I'm kind of beginning to love them. I don't know if I'll like go gallivanting about down the beach with one, but you know, just to tan on the balcony, I love it. Cause there's no tan lines and it's actually pretty comfortable. So this was probably one of my favorite pieces because of the pattern, like how beautiful. And it's, you know, kind of banana leaf fish. So this is really just like a tank tops type of style. So I did notice, and I actually emailed the company, but you know, I did notice that there was like a little stitching issue here, like a little hole, but that's what you get if you're getting bathing suits for like 
12 to 20 bucks. You can't, Vegas can't be chooses, but it still is still perfect. And then the bottom, I love this one because the fabric goes all the way around. So you didn't get that like white line, especially with the thong bathing suit. Like this one was legit. This is my favorite and it sits high on the waist. Super cute. I, this one I think was my favorite. You guys let me know which one is your favorite. I always love knowing that. So then I got a, another, so just speaking of that like white line. So this is a very, it's pretty much a thong bathing suit. Like this is the back. It's like very cheeky. So this is what I mean by like the white. You can kind of see the seam if you're wearing it. So you just have to position yourself properly. So this one ties down the sides. I loved the color. I love everything that's like baby pink right now. And then there's a little tie, just like this is actually like how I dress with my tank top. So I thought it was perfect. And then there's the adjustable little straps. I love this one. I actually wore it yesterday. This is one that I took the cups out. Like it's just cuter without the cups and still supportive enough that you don't really need them unless you want like more padding. Then I would suggest maybe taking out those cups and putting in other ones that are a little bit more higher end. But for me, it just didn't work with the cups. Then I really wanted this pineapple one. So I love the high-waisted bottom look and I loved these bottoms, how they had like, they have the little ruching on them and they go pretty, pretty high up. And I, you could choose the color that you wanted for the top. They had a ton of different options. So I got this green one and how it's shown on the website is like it ties on the front and super cute, except when you get it in and you're Angie and you have like, I have a 32 at Victoria's Secret. I am a 32 double D. So I know that sometimes it looks like I don't have a lot because I, I've gotten really, really good at concealing it and making it look okay, but I have big bubbies. So this in the front did not work. So this is what I did. I just took out the cups and I flipped it and then I made this the back tie and it worked perfectly. So super cute. This plus this, like adorable. I loved how it was like very pinup-y style, love. Then, and then, I feel like I just keep going through. And then, it's like that movie if they keep ordering the burgers. So. This was another thong bathing suit that I got. So the, I really wanted like a strapless, like Bondo style. That's a style. If you're a big bubbied girl, Bondo will work well. Just make sure that there isn't too much of a gap between the middle. But this was one that I left the cups in also, and it totally worked. So for a medium, for my size, like for this to work, and it worked well. I love this color. This was the color of my gown that I had. If you guys ever see my YouTube video that I talk about um, how to be happy, we did like this crazy trip to New Orleans and I had to wear like this Cinderella gown on stage in front of like 30,000 people. And it was this color and I love it so much. So this was very like Pocahontas vibes with the little tassels and everything. And the bottom is, is I love it. Like it's a little thong bottom, but it works really, really well. Um, you don't really see the white on this one. And I like that. I like the strap, the side details on it. And I just love the tie up in the front. I want to get this in another color. Cause I, I really do. This is the one I've worn the most since I've been here. So diving into the rest of them. Um, I, I got all of these styles because I had seen on Instagram, this style of bathing suit that is so me. And I just want to preface this by saying like, this will probably not be everybody's cup of tea, but it was just so down my alley and so different. And I had seen these bathing suits on Instagram. And when Andre and I were in Italy this past summer, I was in Capri and I saw the bathing suit in the window and I ran in and I was like, how much is this? And the lady, I kid you not goes, it's only 300 euros. And I was like, what? So I'm here to tell you that you can find the same bathing suit for like 20 bucks. So I got this style in like every bikini that they had. And the style is basically like these 3D petals. I love it. You might have seen it so on somewhere on Instagram and you bet your bun's going to be all over mine. So I think that this one is one of my favorites. This one was the first one I saw and I was like, yes. See, that's I'm like, I can almost feel the judgment across the screen. I feel like some people be like, what? Because it kind of looks like a synchronized swimmer thing, but I just, I just think it's so quirky and cute. So this is like the triangle top. So see, they're like, they're 3D. And then the sides, I love that it's gray and pink too. And then the sides have the little petals. So it is, you know, it's not, it's not a big top, but I made it work. It fit me. Um, I knew that it would be a little bit of a stretch, but for me to do a large top, a large bottom wouldn't have fit me. So I had to find an even, an even playing field. So this one, I left the cups in as well. Cause you can't really see through it, but Cute, right? I hope that someone, you know, those of you that do like this, please let me know because I don't want to be the only one. So the bottoms on this were super cute. They're just more cheeky, but I think this one was one of my favorites of the petals. And then I got the same style-ish 
in a black one. This one was even smaller. So I had a heck of a time getting into this one. You know, it's cute for a picture and it's cute if like you're just gonna go tanning, but I wouldn't go playing beach volleyball in this. Like, good luck. If you, if you're no, if you're someone that's blessed with tiny bubbies, then sure. So this is the black one and then the bottoms are even smaller as well. So the bottoms are like literally like a string, a string bottom, but cute. I, I still love them. Just this one I will say is the smallest out of all the ones that I ordered. And I think the gray one is probably my favorite. So in terms of quality, I feel like this one was the least quality that didn't really look like the picture, but it still is still awesome. So I could still use it for like a picture. I just think that it was bigger than I expected. And that was the review that I saw on the website as well. That's the other thing is on the website, you can see all of the honest reviews, like they don't filter the review. So if the thing has a bad review, don't get it. So this one is like the back of it, the flowers go all the way down the back. So in the picture, the color was more like this than like a baby pink. It's still cute, but you can see how it's kind of like saggy a little bit. S still, I have to say like, it's cute. And for what I paid for it, like, let's be real. Now these two, and I sent all of these pictures and all of these to my best friends and to my best friend. And this was the two that she was like, oh my God, I die. So I think out of the entire haul, I think this one's my favorite. I think it's the most flattering. I think it's the most me. And it sticks to that theme of like the little petals down the side. It's very like black swan. So, oh, that's just a little tag that you can see there. But you can see how it's like one shoulder and the back goes really, really low. And then the other, the other strap is just plain. I almost feel like it doesn't really do it justice when you see it on, it, it does. That paints a clear picture, but me just kind of holding it here does not do very much. That's why I do a full try on. And then I got the exact same one in white. And seriously, I'm like for the price of these, if, a, if you do not see through a white bathing suit, that's kind of impressive. So I took the cups out of these ones for sure. And this one is like, oh, is it's like the angel and the devil. And Andre and I are going to Mexico with our team in April. So I will be bringing all of these. And the last pair or the last set that I got, I'm actually still waiting on one and I didn't want to wait to not film the video. So I figured I'd just get it up. If I get it up, I'll share it with you guys. I'll add it to the end of this video. Um, it's, I'm expecting like a banana one, like a banana print, which I was all about. So this one I had, cause it's pink. I really just looked for a bunch of pink ones. So it's a little string bottom. It's not a thong bottom, but I just thought that the pattern was really pretty. And again, I, you have to figure out what style looks good on you. And for me, with my shoulders and my, like, I feel like I have wide shoulders-ish. And because of the fact that I have a larger chest, having a high neck bathing suit kind of just accentuates my torso more than like, just it being like a boobalicious situation. Cause I don't love that. And I feel like it comes off like weird. Um, so for me to do a high neck, isn't that pretty? So with this and then this, and then the back is just all strings and it's pink. So let's just be real. I got it cause it was pink. So that's the 11. I'm waiting on a 12th bikini. That is the banana leaf one. And then this is where you guys can laugh. So I ordered this thinking that it would be super cute and it would probably be cute on someone. Like, look how cute this is. It's a little romper. You guys, my nipple goes like here. Like my boob is like here. So it doesn't work. I think I'm either too top tall for it or it just doesn't like, I, I can't even like, look, I'll show you here. Here, I'll just show you guys. This is my final, see this is where it's like, it's real life. Like this is not all rainbows and butterflies. I could make this, this little tiny bikini, I can make it work and I can just like stand there and take a selfie. This, unless like I want my video to get pulled for nudity, I can't share it. So the waist is like here. So this is where it would be like, it would be like this. And my boob is like here, so. Maybe it's just not meant for my body type. And then if I want to yank it all the way up here so that it does cover me, then my, my bottom bits are going to hang out. Like I don't know what to do. So this did not work out. It was a total fail. Um, but most of the other things did. I was super happy with the quality. All in all, it was $200. So $200 for 12 bathing suits and a romper. And you know, I have to say, if you have small bubbies, this would probably fit you. Um, but it did not for me. So it's pretty good, especially if you wanted to just like a revamp all of your bathing suits. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please comment down below and let me know which one you liked the best. And if I'm not crazy for liking the 3D pedal ones, and I will be taking pictures of all of these and sharing them on my Instagram. Everything is from Zafool. Um, I absolutely love them. I will link 
every single one that I shared down below with you guys. And if you guys do wanna see more haul videos, more bikini style videos, give this video a thumbs up so that I know how to gauge it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye dudes. I'm a run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind